Welcome to the orientation for the recruitment and selection guidelines for the non-teaching positions level 1. It is understood that the Equal Employment Opportunity Principle is strictly adhered to in the conduct of this activity. This office highly encourages all interested and qualified applicants regardless of age, gender identity, sexual orientation, civil status, disability, social status, religion, ethnicity, and political affiliations or other personal circumstances to apply. Applicants with disabilities or special needs are encouraged to inform the Human Resource Management Office upon submission of application so that provisions for their needs could be facilitated. The following are the non-teaching positions for Level 1. Administrative Assistants 1 to 3 Administrative Aides 1 to 6 Dental Aid and Security Guard 1 This orientation on the Recruitment and Selection Guidelines would cover the said positions. The process of recruitment and selection would start on the publication and posting of vacancy and that would include the issuance of Division Memorandum. Then, orientation of all interested applicants would follow and the submission and receipt of applications to be submitted to the Human Resource Management Office through the record section of the Schools Division Office of Ilulu City. The Human Resource Management Office, together with the Human Resource Management Personal Selection Board, will then conduct the initial evaluation of the qualification of applicants. This will check the completeness, veracity, accuracy, and authenticity of the documents and applicants' qualifications shall be evaluated vis-a-vis -vis the qualification standards of the position. Those who are qualified will then proceed to the comparative assessment of applicants. We will have the open ranking system in the evaluation of documents and determination of points to be followed by interview and written examination for the qualified applicants. Then, the results would be published through the Comparative Assessment Results or CAR, which would be the basis for the appointing authority to identify the qualified personnel to be in the position. The orientation of interested applicants would include a discussion on the recruitment, selection, and placement guidelines, as well as the documents or the means of verification that are included in the checklist of requirements and evaluation sheet. All interested applicants to the vacant positions, whether internal or external to the Department of Education, shall submit the following documentary requirements to the Human Resource Management Office through the record section on or before the deadline indicated in the memorandum. First, a letter of intent addressed to the school's division superintendent, a duly accomplished personal data sheet or the CS Form 212 with worksheet experience a photocopy of the Certificate of Eligibility, Rating, License, or ID, a photocopy of the Scholastic Academic Record, such as but not limited to Transcript of Records and Diploma, photocopy of Service Record or Certificate of Employment if applicable, photocopy of Certificates of Training if applicable, photocopy of Latest Performance Rating if applicable, Omnibus sworn statement, checklist of requirements, and other doc documents as may be required. The checklist of requirements for the non-teaching level 1 would have the following parts. The first part would take the personal information of the applicant, the school or the office where he or she is connected in the present position, the date of the latest appointment or promotion, and the position being applied for. The second part would indicate the different documents that may be submitted by the applicant. The applicant would mark check if it is present or X if it's not available. At the end of the form, the applicant would sign to signify that indeed these documents were part of the application documents submitted to the Human Resource Management Office and these will be reviewed by the screening committee. The checklist of requirements can be downloaded at the following link bit.ly slash sdoic dash free evaluation checklist. For non-teaching positions level 1, you can download the checklist for non-teaching level 1 promotion file. 
previous applicants for the same position who wish to retain the points they obtained in the previous ranking, specifically in the last two years, are advised to write a letter of intent addressed to the school's division superintendent with copy furnished to the Human Resource Management Personnel Selection Board. Assigned points shall be incorporated in the comparative assessment results upon validation by the HRM PSB. If an applicant would like to update specific points in any criterion, he or she may be allowed, provided this is stated in writing in the letter of intent supported by documents and he or she should go through the ranking process in that particular criterion. Duly accomplished checklist of requirements, photocopy of the individual score sheet, or the comparative assessment result shall be attached to the letter of intent to be submitted to the HRMO through the record section. These documents shall be enclosed in a white folder and must be properly labeled using side tabs. The cover of the folder shall, shall bear the name of the applicant and the position or positions being applied for. Side tabbing labels shall include checklist, letter of intent, personal information, and the criteria for the selection which are performance rating, experience, outstanding accomplishments, education, and training. No further documents shall be accepted after the deadline. The applicant assumes full responsibility and accountability for the authenticity and veracity of the documents submitted as evidenced by the omnibus sworn statement duly signed by the applicant. Any false and fraudulent documents submitted shall be grounds for disqualification. Initial evaluation shall be conducted by the Human Resource Management Office to check the completeness, authenticity, and ver veracity of the documents submitted by the applicant. An applicant's qualifications shall be evaluated vis-a-vis -vis the qualification standards of the position in terms of education, experience, training, eligibility, and competency. Based on the initial evaluation, a duly signed in initial evaluation results shall be submitted to the Human Resource Merit Promotion and Selection Board for deliberation which shall be comprised of the two lists, qualified for those who have met the minimum qualifications required for the position to be filled, and disqualified those who do not meet the minimum qualifications of the positions to be filled. All applicants who pass the initial evaluation shall be subject to the comparative assessment of the Human Resource Management Personnel Selection Board. An open ranking system shall be adopted to ensure transparency in the process and the results of the comparative assessment wherein applicants must be present to witness the actual evaluation for which the scores of all applicants present thereat shall be disclosed to all attendees. Only those who have passed the qualification requirements will proceed to the comparative assessment evaluation. Each applicant shall also be given an opportunity to ask questions and seek clarifications on the result of their individual assessment and acknowledge receipt of their individual results during the open ranking. Upon receipt of the individual results, applicants shall affix their signature to the individual evaluation sheet. The duly signed individual evaluation sheet will serve as acknowledgement that the applicant has undergone the application and assessment process based on the applicable guidelines that the results of the individual assessment have been discussed with a concerned applicant. The comparative assessment of qualified applicants shall be based on the results of the appropriate evaluative assessments based on the principles of merit and fitness and would assess the competencies of applicants vis-a-vis -vis the required competencies of the position to be filled. Evaluative assessments include, but are not limited to, documentary review and analysis, examinations, and interviews. This can be validated through behavioral events interviews and or background investigations. After a judicious and objective assessment of the qualified candidates, the HRMPSB shall prepare and submit to the appointing officer or appointing authority, which is the school's division superintendent, a duly signed comparative assessment result. The CAR shall contain the complete list of all candidates for appointment 
whose total scores obtained from the evaluative assessments are ranked from highest to lowest, highlighting the top 5 ranking candidates. The school's division superintendent, who is the appointing officer or appointing authority, shall be guided by the report of the HRMPSB's CAR and in the exercise of sound discretion, select insofar as practicable the candidate deemed most qualified for appointment among the top five or less, depending on the number of candidates unless otherwise provided by law. The appointing authority may appoint a candidate who is ranked higher in the car than the candidate who is next in rank to the vacant position. The appointing authority or appointing officer may request for background investigation of the selected candidates to be conducted by the HRMO or other personnel selected by HRMO. The decision to appoint shall be rendered by the appointing authority and conferred to the HRMO through the Comparative assessment results, in which the appointing authority shall signify their choice of appointees. The appointing officer or authority shall approve and sign the appointment of the successful candidate or candidates, effectivity of which shall be in accordance with the specific provisions as provided for in ORA ORA or the Omnibus Rules of Appointments and other Human Resource Action of the Civil Service Commission. Here's the evaluation and selection criteria as indicated in Deputy Order No. 66, Series of 2007. There are five criteria for the non-teaching positions. Performance, experience, outstanding accomplishments, education and training, psychosocial attributes, and potential. For each of these criteria, there is a maximum points of which a total is 100 points. For performance, the performance rating of the candidates for the last three rating periods prior to screening must be at least very satisfactory. The formula shall be used for the computation of the average of the numerical ratings. Performance rating 1 plus performance rating 2 plus performance rating 3 plus 15 divided by 3. This will be multiplied to 35%, then will be multiplied further to 10 Document to submit, individual performance and commitment review form or performance rating for the last three rating periods. Copies of the individual performance ratings must be duly signed by the designated approving authority based on Deputy Order No. 2, Series of 2015. Performance rating not signed and approved by proper authority shall be or shall not be given credit. Certification of ratings shall not be accepted in lieu of the IPCRF or performance rating. Second criteria, experience. Experience must be relevant to the duties and functions of the positions to be filled. Every year of experience shall be given a point but not to exceed 5 points. Every month or day of service in excess of 1 year shall be given the following corresponding point. 1 month is equal to 0 0.083 point. One day is equal to 0 0.003 point. Documents to submit, service record, latest appointment, designation and certification of services rendered for OIC or coordinator. For OIC and coordinators, designation should be signed with the school's division superintendent. To determine the inclusive dates of service, a certification signed with the school's division superintendent indicating the start and end of service rendered by the candidate should be provided. Without the certification, the HRMPSB cannot credit the experience. Third is outstanding accomplishments or the meritorious accomplishments of the applicant, which have five sub-criteria. Outstanding employee award, innovation, research and development projects, publication or authorship, consultant or resource speaker in training, seminars, workshops, or symposia. Each of these would have a maximum of one point, a total of five points for outstanding accomplishments criteria. Only accomplishments of candidates from his or her last promotion shall be considered for the ranking. Accomplishments, outputs, and certificates shall be credited to one criteria only. In case of doubts, the HRMPSB shall conduct field validation. For Outstanding Employee Award, 
This should be a product of an institutionalized search and conducted by the school, district, division, or regional praise committee, or any local, national, or international awards given by reputable institutions or award-giving bodies such as the Civil Service Commission, Metro Bank Foundation, and other related government and non-government agencies. The employee award is given to an individual or individuals who excelled among peers in an actional group, position, or profession. For internal award-giving bodies such as the Department of Education, it should be conducted annually as indicated in Deputy Order No. 9, Series of 2002. Assignment of points shall be based on the Certificate of Merit, Award, or Recognition bearing the name of the candidate. For awardee in school, it's point four point. Nomination in the division, awardee in the district, point six. Nomination in the region, awardee in the division, point eight. Nomination in the department, awardee in the region and a national awardee, one point. Document to submit a certificate of merit or award or recognition which should bear the following, the name of the candidate, award received, or level of award received such as national, region, division, district, or school. Awards that are content or subject area specific shall be considered. For group awards, the points shall be divided among the members. Only award received by the candidate after his or her last promotion shall be credited. If the candidate received several awards, only the highest award, shall, award received shall be credited. Second sub-criteria is innovation, which would refer to the innovative work plan such as student tracking system, teaching strategies, learning modalities, drop-out interventions, remedial interventions, curriculum materials, or systems that improve effectiveness and efficiency that have never been thought of anyone else, unique, out of the box, properly documented, approved by the immediate chief, and attested by authorized regional or division official. The table below shall be the basis for giving points. Level of accomplishment if it is conceptualized, point 4. Started the implementation, point 6. Fully implemented in the school, point 8. Adopted in the district or division, one point. Documents to submit, proposal or work plan endorsed by the school head and approved by the school's division superintendent. Accomplishment report attested by the school head and noted by the public school's district supervisor and the school's division superintendent. Certificate of recognition or certification signed by the school head, by the PSDS, by the SDS, whichever is applicable, indicating that the innovation was adopted, and sample or picture of output. Only innovation projects submitted for approval and implemented after the last promotion of the candidate shall be credited. Innovation project conducted as a requirement for training, graduate, post-studies shall not be given credit. If the candidate conceptualized or implemented several innovation projects, only the innovation project with the highest level of accomplishment shall be credited. For projects done by group, the projects, or the points rather, shall be divided among the members. Third sub-criteria, research and development projects, which may be a basic and an action research undertaken and would follow the correct process and results were disseminated and utilized. The following would be the basis for assigning of points. Approved research proposal, point 6. Research conducted in the school, point 8. Research conducted in the district or at a division level, 1 point. Documents to submit for researches which were approved by the school's division. Research proposal endorsed by the division research committee and approved by the school's division superintendent or the division memorandum indicating the approved research proposals, and completed research manuscript with certificate of acceptance endorsed by the division research committee and approved by the school's division superintendent. For those research which were funded by the BIRF, the documents to submit are letter of approval signed by the regional research committee or the regional memorandum indicating the approved research proposals and Certificate of Acceptance signed by the Regional Research Committee and the Regional Director or Certification indicating that the research 
is undergoing acceptance process signed by the chairman of the Regional Research Committee. Only research conducted after the last promotion of the candidate shall be credited. Researches conducted as requirement for training, graduate, post-studies shall not be given credit. If the candidate conducted several researches, only the research with the highest level of coverage shall be credited. For researches done by a group, the points shall be divided among the members. Fourth sub-criteria, publication or authorship. Publications should be supported by the original copy of the article or of the book indicating the name of the writer or writers. Certification from the publisher indicating the date of publication should support a copy of the article or of the book indicating the date of publication. Only articles with substantial discussion pertaining to education published in journal, newspaper, magazine of wide circulation shall be given due credit. Articles shall be given 0.8 point. Co-authorship of a book would also receive 0.8 point. Sole authorship of a book, 1 point. Articles should be relevant and aligned to the position of the candidate. Articles published in school paper, school or district publication shall not be given points. Articles published in the division website and division publication may be given points provided they have undergone the process, the proper procedure, such as evaluation of the English or Filipino supervisors, supported by proper documents such as letter of request and approval of the school's division superintendent. News and feature article regarding an event or activity shall not be given credit unless commissioned by the school's division superintendent to write a specific article for the division publication. School hymn, march, and other related composition shall be credited with the maximum points. Learning resources or materials published in the LRMDS portal, such as modules, booklets, storybooks, and the like, may give given points equivalent to the publication of book. Copy of the learning resource materials with certification from the LRMS supervisor indicating the publication of the same to the LRMDS portal should support this accomplishment. Illustrator of the storybook can be considered as co-author of the book. Only articles or books published after the last promotion of the candidate shall be credited. For articles or books with multiple authors, the points shall be divided by the number of authors. Documents to submit. For printed article or book, the copy of the published article or book and a certification from the publisher. For online publication, a screenshot, a screenshot of the article published in the division website. Certification from English or Filipino supervisor that the article passed the evaluation process. A letter request and approval of the school's division superintendent. A certification from the information technology officer that the article was published in the division website. For LRMDS portal publication, a screenshot of learning resource or material, materials published in the LRMDS portal, a copy of the printed learning resource materials, and certification from the LRMS supervisor that the article was published in the portal. For school hymn or march, a copy of the composition approved by the school head and a certificate of recognition signed by the school's division superintendent. Last sub-criteria for outstanding accomplishments, consultant or resource speaker in trainings, seminars, workshops, symposia. For candidate or in points in this criteria, he or she must present the certificate of recognition or merit as consultant, resource speaker, or learning facilitator, lecturer, or trainer. The following would be the basis for assigning of points. School level, point 6. District level or within the secondary school, point 8. Division, regional, national, or international level, one point. For DepEd training, seminar, or workshops, or symposia, signatories are the following. For school level, the school head. District level, the public school's district supervisor. Division level, the school's division superintendent or his or her authorized representative. Regional level, regional director or his or her authorized representative. National level, secretary or the authorized representative. For non-DEP-ED training, seminars, workshops, or symposia, 
a letter of invitation approved by the school's division superintendent should support a certificate of recognition or merit signed by the highest official of the sponsoring agency or company. For international level, letter of invitation should have been endorsed to and approved by the regional director. For international training, it can be considered international level when trainers are internationally recognized or accredited and the activity or training is attended in by participants coming from across the globe. Likewise, with national training, trainers are nationally recognized and the activity or training is attended to by participants coming from across the country. Only consultancy or speakership conducted after the last promotion of the candidate shall be credited. If the candidate submitted several certificates, the certificate with the highest level shall be credited. Documents to submit Certificate of Recognition or Merit Approved Letter of Invitation for non ed and for international level The certificate should indicate the role of the candidate and the level of training, seminar, workshop, or symposium. We will proceed to the fourth criteria, education and training. For education, the HRMPSB shall rate the candidate based on the units reflected in the transcript of records and or certification with the school registrar for the units earned or completion of academic requirements using the following table. 6 to 11 units for master's degree, 1 point. 12 to 18 units in master's degree, 2 points. 19 to 24 units in master's degree, 3 points. 25 to 30 units in master's degree, 4 points. 31 to 36 units in master's degree, 5 points. Complete academic requirements for master's degree, 6 points. And full-fledged master's degree, 7 points. With units in doctorate degree, 8 points. Complete academic requirements for doctoral degree, 9 points. And doctoral degree, 10 points. Documents to submit, transcript of records. Certification with the school registrar for the units earned or certification from the school registrar for the completion of academic requirements. For the training, these would refer to formal or non-formal training courses and human resource and development interventions such as coaching, mentoring, job rotation, seminars, workshops, and others that are part of the employee's individual plan for professional development. These trainings or learning and development interventions are intended to enable the candidate to successfully perform the duties and responsibilities as indicated in the position and competency profile of the position to be filled. Training acquired must be relevant to the position to be filled and aligned with the strategy map or development goal of the institution or organization as indicated in the Section 64 of the Omnibus Rules on Appointments and Other Human Resource Action or ORA ORA. For international training, it can be considered international level when trainers are internationally recognized or accredited, and activity or training is attended in by participants coming from across the globe. Likewise, with national training, trainers are nationally recognized and activity or training is attended to by participants coming from across the country. Participation in a specialized training such as scholarship programs, short co courses, study grants, shall be given 1 point for every month of attendance but not to exceed 10 points. For participation in a training or activity, 4 days or 36 hours cumulative is 1 point. Participation on 3 or more training activities in each level conducted for at least 3 days shall be given equivalent points as follows. District level, 2 points. Division level, 4 points. Regional level, 6 points. Participation in one training conducted for at least 3 days in the national or international levels shall be given credit. National level, 8 points. International level, 10 points. If the candidate submitted several certificates, only the highest level shall be credited. Chair or co-chair in a technical planning committee, district level, 2 points, division level, 4 points, regional level, 6 points, national level, 8 points, international level, 10 points. 
Points earned for training may be accumulated with points earned for participation to technical or planning committee without, however, exceeding the maximum of 10 points. Documents to submit for specialized training, short courses, or study grants. Certificate of attendance or participation with inclusive dates indicated. For training, seminar, or workshop, certificate of attendance or certificate of participation. For technical planning committee chair or co-chairmanship, certificate of attendance, participation, or recognition. And for those who have served in COMELEC for BEI, your appointment or certification from COMELEC. Fifth criteria, psychosocial attributes, which would refer to the characteristics or traits of a candidate which involve both psychosocial and social aspects. This may be based on observation, feedback, test results, interview, or background investigation. The candidate will be rated on the following factors which would indicate the capability of the candidate to, to be assets to the entire service system and utilize his or her talents and expertise to the maximum. Human relations, 6 points. Decisiveness, 5 points. Stress tolerance, 4 points. Last criteria is potential, which would refer to the capacity of the candidate to assume duties of the position to be filled and those of higher or more responsible positions. Rating may also be based on observation, feedback, test results, interview, or background investigation. The candidate will be rated based on the following indicators. Communication skills, 4 points. Ability to present ideas, 4 points. Alertness, 4 points. Judgment, 4 points. Leadership ability, 4 points. We have discussed already the recruitment and selection guidelines together with the evaluation and assessment criteria. If you have any questions, queries, or clarifications, you can send that to the link indicated on the screen, which is bit.ly slash SDOIC NTP Level 1. We would like to hear questions, comments, or clarifications so that you'd be able to submit the complete expected documents for the screening for the non-teaching position Level 1. Please click the subscribe button and notification button for this channel so that you'll be able to be notified for the different orientation videos of the School's Division of University Human Resource Management and Personnel Selection Board. Thank you everyone for joining in this orientation. Good day everyone and God bless.